Hey there guys and gals, Melodic Symphony here, and after quite an interesting break, I've finally managed to catch up and get pretty much everything I need to get done, done. Let me just go ahead and make sure that everything can be settled. Um, because I'm pretty sure we still have that spring break, not spring break, uh, is it spring break? Winter break first, and I need to have, I think, 150 and 100. So, I can get that spontaneous from the cafe job quite easily i think yep 5 10 15 that'll yeah, be good and plus this so for now i think i'm good on the right path um i'm into a more settled schedule i probably i might be able to get an upload each day but it might be i upload one day record the next upload the next day and so like every other day i'm not exactly sure how my schedule is going to work it is school but um as the channel ages and progresses, hopefully I'll be able to do both. But for now, let's go ahead and go to some more roommates. <clears throat> you know what? I think this is going to be a good week. For a change, I'm actually getting out the door without running into something crazy delaying me. The last few weeks have been ridiculous. Everyone has already gone to class, so I lock the door behind me as I head out. Or, at least, I thought the others had gone off to class. It looks like Sally's coming back. And she's definitely smuggling something. I know that look very well. Jacket clutched at her chest, eyes darting all over the place, slightly hunched over, like she doesn't want something to fall out. I walk out the gate and give her a wave as I turn toward my class. Oh, Max, um, hey, I, uh, forgot a book. <laughs> wow, she's pretty terrible at lying about it, too. Sally runs past me and heads to the door without looking me in the eye. I can tell she's struggling to keep her jacket closed and get into her pockets at the same time. I suppose I can go over and help, but that just means getting tied up into whatever crazy scheme she's got going on today. I don't know if it's worth it. Ah, who am I kidding? When have I ever run from trouble? I sneak up behind Sally as she struggles to hold her jacket closed while opening the door. Ooh, fucking snazzy! I'm sorry, but that was a change. That's a snazzy coat. Dang! I don't think anybody will care that much about a bag of weed, so what? Crack? Ugh, Max, you jerk! Don't scare me like that! And shut up, it's nothing of that sort. Sally struggles with her jacket for a few moments, looking around shiftily. Everyone else is gone, right? It's Dominic's TAD, TA day, right? I think so. Why is that? Before I can finish my sentence, I hear it. A small whimper. Like a small dog whining. Is that what I think it is? <sighs> Sally sighs and opens her jacket, revealing a tiny puppy. Well, that's certainly not what I was expecting. <laughs> I can tell. Crack? Really? I was joking. Where'd you find him? He was just wandering the streets down by the main avenue. <laughs> what, did you ask around about him? Of course, I don't go around stealing dogs. I didn't say that. Anyway, he was about to go wandering off into traffic, so I scooped him up. I looked all over, but nobody claimed him. I don't see any tags or anything. Who would abandon a cute little guy like this? I don't know. It happens a lot around college towns like this, though. People get a pet and then have to move away for some reason, and they just abandon their poor animals. Sally looks like she's about to cry just thinking about it. Well, for now, let's get him set up inside. Come on. <laughs> Suddenly back to the shirt. Okay. I unlock the door, step through, and take off my winter coat. That's your winter coat? Jesus, that's a snazzy winter coat, man. You do know this is totally against the rules, though, right? Dominic will freak if he finds out. Well, I'm not telling if you're not. <laughs> hey, I've got your back. I'm always up for some rule-breaking. Especially if it pisses off Dushnik. Here, stay here and cover him up. I'll make sure the coast is clear. <clears throat> Thank you, Max. I really appreciate your help. So does little Vegemite. Uh, v Vegemite? Suddenly, I hear rustling from the kitchen. I try to sneak a bit closer, and that's when I see Dushnik's hand pushing the door open. Well, crap. I've only got a moment to figure out what to do before he comes out here. Count to 35 before coming back in. I slam the door on Sally, shoving her back outside. Now what to do? <laughs> That's smart. Ask for Rose C C 
clarification. <laughs> okay, so pretending to skip class is actually good in her eyes. Okay. If I've got Dushnik pegged, Dushnik pegged. Wow, that sounded weird to my head. There's one thing he can't pass up. The chance to lecture a no good like me. I walk over to the kitchen as loudly as I can. Ha, <laughs> those suckers actually thought I was going to class? Class is for losers. Losers who can't get laid at that. Oh, is that so? Oh, what, Dushnik? What are you doing here? I am both shocked and also surprised. I'll just bet you are, you slacker jackass. I can't believe you thought you'd just get out of your classes and nobody would be around to call you on your crap. I maneuver into a seat behind Dominic, who rounds on me with a full head of steam. Oh, I'm gonna pay for this. For one thing, you have cons have you considered how much you're paying for this? Or, am I'm sorry, your parents are paying for this, am I right? That's incredibly disrespectful to them and to yourself, after all. I tune Dushnik out as I hear the doorknob handle turn quietly. Sally pokes her head in, sees the situation, and begins to sneak upstairs. She gives me a look, a look of sympathy as Dominic continues to rail on. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, but who cares about that stuff? I don't even know what he was saying, but it's enough to set him off again, keeping his attention squarely on me. I'll have to check on Sally later tonight. It's worth a lecture to help her out. You know, in the time you've been sitting here lecturing me, I could have made it to class. Get out, you jackass. He's really too easy. <coughs> ah, better. But, um, oh yeah, I forgot I have to skip. Crap, I shouldn't have checked my email. One of my professors wants to see me after class. This is never good. See me after class is right up there with we need to talk for bad indicators. I guess I could always just avoid the whole thing, but Professor Task's temper is pretty legendary. If I miss the appointment, who knows what he'll do. I'm like 90% sure I need to play this. <laughs> I suppose there's nothing for it. I'll just have to go. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. I try to keep my head down during class and afterwards head over to the professor's office. Professor, you wanted to see me? Ah, Max, exactly on time. If only you were this diligent in class. I hate it when he grimaces at me like that. It looks like he's trying to dissect me. Looking around, I notice there's another student already here. At least she's not trying to kill me with her eyes. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Professor. Well, anyways, to the matter at hand, you both know I've been helping out the sociology department lately, right? Well, one of the other professors is running an experiment. She wanted to give me a few of my, wanted me to give a few of my students a little questionnaire. You don't have to, but I'll give you a bit of extra credit for your trouble. Oh, it's Carmen. I have no problem filling out the questionnaire, Professor. The girl looks at me, waiting on my response. She notices me She notices me looking back at her a little vacantly and blushes, looking away. Guess I have that effect on all ladies. Thank you, Carmen. And you, Max? It's not like you couldn't use the credit with your grades. There's that damn glare again. Yeah, sure. I'll fill the thing out. The professor nods like he hadn't expected any less. He hands us the papers without further comment. There are a few questions on the paper, mostly about my college life. I fill in most of it pretty easy. The last question gives me pause, though. Your fellow student has obtained the answers for the next test. They plan on using them, as do several others. They offer you the chance to use them as well. There's no chance for you to be caught using the answers. Do you use them on the test? I wouldn't. Okay, this is about the most obvious trick I've ever seen. I mark down no and hand the paper back in. Hmm, there may be hope for you yet, boy. Thanks, Professor. He can't be serious. Hell yes, I'd use those answers, but I'm sure as hell not telling him that. That'll be all, Max. Have a good day. I have to admit, it was nice to not be glared at as I get out for a change. The only issue with that event is I'm not sure if it, like, interferes with another character's event. Maybe, like, if it interacts with Isabella. But, oh well. Hmm. You know, this makes no sense. 
Doesn't it just figure? I finally decided to do my homework, and now I can't figure out how to do this one. Uh, I'm just going to give up, give this up as a bad idea. Everything all right in here? Wait, Max studying? Wait, maybe I walked into Anne's room on accident. Shut up, Dushnik. Who asked you? Can you blame me for being shocked, slacker? Did you call me, Dominic? What? Oh, sorry, no, I was just giving the slacker here a hard time. Oh, studying Max? Good for you. See, she knows how to encourage a guy, Dushnik. Still, the last thing I need is for these two breathing down my neck. I could always ask for help, I guess. All right, you two chuckle nuts. If you're going to hang around, make yourselves useful already. I throw my worksheet at Dominic, who looks over the problem, while Anne looks at it over his shoulder. Wow, that's a tough one. Oh, I didn't know you were taking this class, Max. Okay. I think I see how this is supposed to go. It's a logic question, basically. Um, no, I think that's a trick question, right? I mean, that statement is fallacious, isn't it? You think? No, it seems pretty straightforward to me. Yeah, yeah, it's probably one of those things you guys are saying. Feel free to just go ahead and write down the answer once you've got it. I'll be out back with a beer if you need me. I actually go halfway to the stairs from the second floor before they pulled their head out of my book. Nice try, jackass. I like the little the little slow pan off for a little bit. That was actually kind of that was a neat little touch. Max, come on, you can do this. Whoa, hit there. Ooh. I'm gonna have to do that one with AM. I have to do that one with Anne's pathway anyway, so I'm going to ask Dominic to help me with the problem. Plus, it wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing. <laughs> Fine, whatever, Dominic. Put your money where your mouth is. I bet you can't figure this one. Well, good luck, you guys. I'm proud of you for studying, Max. Yes, yes, yes. Now, come on. Put it together like this. Together, Dominic and I head over to the desk in my room. I have to admit, Dominic does know his crap. It doesn't take him long to show me where I was going wrong trying to solve this one. So then, like this? Exactly. Ironically, my voices for both of them are super, super similar, so if it bugs people, go ahead and tell me, and I'll try to make it a little bit more distinctive. But yeah, I've kind of noticed that, and I'm like, wait, whose voice am I doing? Uh, yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. There, you can get it when you try, Max. You just have to apply yourself. I, I can't have been the first person to say that to you what i can't have been that that's that's an odd grammar statement to me it probably makes it probably is like grammatically correct it just doesn't make sense to me yeah yeah if i wanted a lecture for my second grade teacher i could have just called her up whatever good to see you studying he takes off while i continue looking at the rest of my homework yeah i probably should have just given the whole thing up Ugh, why isn't my alarm on? I could have sworn I said it on time. Damn it. I fly through my room, picking out a quick outfit to wear today. I look at the clock, and if no one's in the way, I might be able to grab a shower. If there's one downside to having five roommates and only one actual bathroom, it's early morning traffic. With everyone's class schedules, always, with everyone's class schedules people always seem to be coming or going in the morning. Of course, this means, a pretty, this means plenty of opportunities for mishaps. If you're that kind of guy, which for record, I'm not, I swear. Well, not often. Barely ever. Not that Dushnik hasn't laid down the law, anyway. He pretty much threatened to take me to jail himself as if he got so much as one complaint. And that's why I'm so mad I overslept this morning. It ruins everyone's schedule. If someone is in there, it could cause me to be late. It's almost not worth the hassle. I mean, I'm not going to say I've never gone to class without a shower before. Though, a quick sniff test tells me that I'm going to have to sit far away from people if I decide to skip it today. <clears throat> sorry about that. Now, I'm not going to go through today stinking... No, oh, sorry. No, I'm not going to go through today stinking and greasy. I've got time. Hopefully the showers are empty. I grab up my towel and things and run down the hall for the bathroom. As I head towards the bathroom, I can see Isabella leaving, her own bathroom bundle in hand. Looking good, babe. Isabella just winks at me and holds a finger up to her lips as she goes past. Only as she passes 
me do I notice that the bundle she's carrying is clothes, but she's already dressed. Wait, shh, go on, take a shower. Just as I'm about to question what's going on, the door to the bathroom opens up and I just see the top of the blonde head sticking out. All right, you assholes, very funny. Isabella snickers and runs off downstairs like a child who just stole the last cookie. I'm going to kill one of you. I'm not even sure which one. Maybe I'll just kill someone at random. The first one to bring back my clothes doesn't get murdered. That's fair, right? Unfortunately, since I'm still standing in the hall, I'm the first one Dominic locks his murderous glaze on. Glare on. You uh, doing all right there, Dominicans? Feeling a little breezy, maybe? You goddamn asshole, bring back my clothes this second. Do I look like I'm holding your skivvies, man? I've barely got my own crap together. You probably planned this, didn't you? Oh yes, it's a grand high conspiracy. Just shut up and get me a towel, would you? Oh what, I'm supposed to miss out on that cute little tushy? <laughs> what? Why would he say that? Okay. I swear, I'm going to kick every last one of you out of this house. It's going to be so nice when it's quiet in here again. Aw, oh, come on, you're telling Isabella ch Wait, what? Oh, aw, oh, come on. You're telling Isabella checking... I think it means, come on, you're telling me. Aw, oh, come on. You're telling me Isabella checking you out in the shower isn't worth a few missing pants now and again? Of course it was Isabella. Just give me a towel already. I head over to the linen closet and grab a fresh towel. I walk closer to the bathroom door where Dominic's hand... Dominic's got a hand waving around. Any time now is fine. Ooh, these are two different options. Um, 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 um. Ooh, I'm gonna do that one when I'm not doing Isabella's pathway, but that seems like a really fun option. But I'm pretty sure this is for Isabella. Hmm, I don't know if they have any left in your size here, man. I think all the kitchen towels are taken. I swear to everything you hold dear, I will break your legs. Wait, wait, I've got half a washcloth. That should do, right? Just give me something, Max. Well, all right, all right. I just gotta find something in here cushy enough for you. We can't have a baby's bottom getting chapped. I flick the towel at his still outstretched arm. As soon as he feels the fabric brush him, it starts claw- What? Oh. As soon as he feels the fabric brush him, he starts clawing at the air fort. I can't help but laugh at his struggle. Maybe you shouldn't give it to me. I'm pretty sure you're dead once I get out of here. Uh-oh, looks like Dushnik's beam is pointed at me. I chuck the towel at his outstretched arm and run for the stairs. For your services, I'm going to kill you quickly, Max. I see Isabella peeking from behind the couch. I give her a thumbs up and book towards the door. She's laughing her head off as I make my way outside. Dominic's mad enough he even chases me a full block before he realizes he's running down the street in just a towel. This day has certainly gotten a lot more tolerable. Okay, I'm just kind of curious. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I don't think that affects Isabella's pathway. I'll go through in the end and I'll look up the pathway stuff and I'll see. Ah. There's a bunch of like spoiler free pathways and stuff that I can go to and actually, you know, see if I'm on the right path. I'll go check those out. Ugh, I feel like utter crap. Why didn't I get a sweater or something? Oh, I make polar bears look like wimps. No, I make polar bears look like geniuses. Runny nose, fever, it feels like I'm trying to swallow a cactus. I think I'm just gonna die here for a little while. I can even hear my ancestors calling me towards the light. Wait, no, that's Dushnik in the hallway. Wait, what are they talking about? I press my ear against the door. His fever is incredibly high. I can't believe we're all going out. I just want to make sure someone is here to keep an eye on him. It's just a cold, Dom. I've seen worse. All he really needs to do is get some sleep. And while he's doing that, the rest of us can get out of here. I don't know. It is pretty high. Then again, if I don't see my study group tonight, we're going to fail our, on our, what? We're going to fail our agricultural project. Look, we've all got stuff to do. I'm not saying we don't. I'm just saying that someone should stick around and make sure he doesn't get worse. It would be a kindness to him. I didn't know I was such a burden. Not like I asked to get sick. Whatever. 
maybe if I can muster up the strength to get out of bed, I can make the decision for them. Uh, then again, I was doing some pretty good dying back there. That sounds pretty good, too. Meh, I can die when I'm dead, or something like that. I grab a pair of pants off the floor and start dragging myself out the door. So, can you stay, Rakesh? Perhaps I plan to watch the stars from the hill tonight. That's not much. We've all got something to do tonight. Or you could just forget about it and get out of here so some of us can get some damned sleep. Max, you should be in bed. And you should all be quiet when discussing the terrible burden of making sure I don't croak. Yet here we are. Sorry, Max. It's not like you're a burden. We just have things that we need to do out of the house tonight. Seriously, you idiot. Go back to bed. We'll sort it out in a second. Don't do any me don't do me any favors. It'd serve you right if I did keel over on your watch. My plans can keep another night. I can stay and watch over Max. Really, I just want this whole thing over with. Hmm. I'm gonna tell everyone to just go. Look, when I got up this morning, I put on my big boy pants. Would you all just get going so I can pass out in peace? The others look around at each other and shrug. Seriously, I've had way worse than this. I'll be fine. Look, uh, thanks. Just get some rest, okay? I'll try to make it look like a murderer broken, just in case. I've seen your room, Max. It already does. Shut up, I'm sick. The others leave or get disintegrated. Who knows? I'm already on my way to bed. I can barely get any sleep, honestly. I feel like such crap. I toss and turn through the night, either cold as crap or hotter than hell. By morning, I feel like I've been through the ringer, and I'm feeling a bit better, but not much. I'm not really interested in getting up yet, just yet, though. A bit more sleep never hurt, after all. Oh, whoa. That was, that was it? Oh, yeah, because technically that was two days. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, I guess I'm going to have to end that one here. So, uh, yeah. I want to point out that somebody in the comments did mention that the reason Dominic and Sally, uh, you can't do the path with the same sex of them is because they're straight. Yeah, I, that makes sense and it's obvious. But you would think in a game like this they wouldn't introduce that because you would want a pathway for everyone. And maybe since they are straight, you can get like super good best friends with Dominic if you're Max or like super BFFs if you're um, Anne and Sally. But from what I heard, it's literally just like the normal storyline, but a teeny weeny bit different. Like it doesn't actually change too, too much. And I want to do a storyline that people want to see. I mean, if you want to see me as Anne get to 100% with Sally and do her full pathway, then I can. It's just not necessarily the most beneficial for me to do right now because there's not actually something for you guys to see. There's not, like, an ending where they get together. Um, but, yeah, I have a more consistent schedule. I'll be able to actually post more often. And... I guess that's it for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you on the next one.